Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode of The Bad Bat, Season 2. We're watching episode 5 today, an episode called Entombed. Feels very Indiana Jonesy just because tomb, but we'll see. Um, show's been good so far, season's been good, delving more into the individual clones and their personalities. It's been great getting to know some side characters, some other worlds, um, you know, obviously keeping in touch with the Imperials and the universe as it currently sits political wise. So curious to see where this next episode goes as usual. So let's just get right to it. Miss what Wrecker's old gear. Among other things. I know it's all <laughs> casual stuff. Right. What is that? A pizza cutter? Check it out. Ooh, yeah. Microphone. What would you find? What? what was there? Spit it out! Only the Grand Pearl of Novak. <laughs> There's two <laughs> things. Oh. These look like coordinate markings. <gasps> coordinate markings? Ooh. I was right. This is a compass. One from long before our time. Fun adventure. These coordinates are in the Kaldar trinary system. There's treasure there? Without a doubt. Mega loves treasure. This compass is a rare find. It could be fun. Who would have thought? We Bounty hunters to treasure hunters. It didn't go as planned. How many uncharted planets have Look you Look at her. To? She's copying Too her. Too many to count. That's cute. That's why I need Mel to keep track of all the legends I've chased down. Ooh, that's an interesting topography. Dead plants? I'm not picking up any signs of civilization yeah, look at her. whatsoever. Which makes She's sense, totally. That's so cute. To have been raised and left Let's go. Now she's got the right attitude. Aww. Wait up, kid. Look. That is an old Jedi temple. Oh, it is a secret entrance. Wait, is that that lightning creature? We are standing in the entrance way to Skara Null. To what? Every pirate out there has heard the legend of Skara Null. It traces back to the ancients. Hmm. You mean the Jedi? No. Older. Wrecker, aww. There we go. And now there's a... There we go. Woohoo! And their exit is open again. Was his gun missing? Or is it just that he was li Oh, dude. Oh, that's long boy. Dude. Ooh, it a glowy thing. He rips off his horns. Oh no, separate. It's so interesting how they come up with all these stories. Oh, yay! What took you so long? The heart of the mountain. Do you gotta do an exchange? Yep. Do you have a backpack or anything for that? What are you gonna do with your hands? Gosh. Is this a ship? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Holy. Is that like a sphinx almost? Whoa. I suspect this is not in fact. 
a treasure. Whoa. That is fascinating. Uh oh, what are you gonna do? Is that the thing that destroyed this planet? It just emitted a massive. The sound energy. reminds me of Whatever War of the Worlds, you know. So fascinating, so many questions. No, please say he walked to the side. So we can throw him out. Wow, those are one of those eyeballs. Is that their ship? Yep. Bro, how you know? <laughs> Dude. It's interesting how putting the stone in is keeping it shut down. Maybe just because of the timing of trying to shoot the laser. Whew. Metal with electricity? Yikes. Yay. Well, it was still an adventure. I have a rebuilt before we head to Vatine. What's on Vatine? That's fair. I have a lead on a certain chalice. Very ancient. Really? <laughs> oh, Legend no. Has it. The chalice once belonged to the kingdom of Elways. Elways? That's cute. Wow. Kingdom of Elways. It looks like they just show up somewhere and destroy stuff. <laughs> well, cool. That was a fun episode. That one was, um,. It seemed very like, I guess it, like when you talk about like anime or other animation shows, like a filler episode, but it didn't seem a lot of like, um, density to it. It seemed very focused on Omega and Fee and their fascination with this treasure hunting. And then the other characters were just, the Bad Batch crew were just there to assist. Um, but regardless, it was a very interesting concept. I was interested in this treasure hunting moment and seeing again, this large machine weapon of sorts, very destructive. Interesting how this crystal that is a power source deactivates it, but I guess it has to be strong enough to shut down something as it would be to have, or maybe it's just the battery boot up thing, whatever. Regardless, um, I'm sure also they like to do kind of fun tie-ins to, you know, George Lucas obviously made Indiana Jones and this definitely gives me those vibes where they're going on a treasure hunt and there's booby traps and, you know, they have this, the good old fashioned door trickeries and puzzles and all these, you know, stepping on the right path and if you take an item out, something bad happens, so. Um, I definitely feel like this was a nod to George Lucas and maybe that was the point just of this episode was not necessarily character development per se, but just a fun episode nodding to the creator of Star Wars and the other franchise he created. So yeah, fun overall, um, very neat. And again, I also liked just them showing the mimicry that Omega was doing with Fee because she was clearly looking up to the stories and the concept and the treasure and she was doing the similar positions she was and like looking into things um so that was really fun and cute little thing they did for the animation wise so yeah great episode and I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you want to show support for the video give it a like if you want to share some thoughts about this maybe you thought there was more to this 
um, or maybe this was referencing something that we've already seen before, um, go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments below. And also, if you're not already subscribed and make sure to hit the notification button as well, that'll let you know when videos go live. Because right now, we don't have a schedule. So yeah, thanks guys for being here. Hope you're doing well and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.